ladies and gentlemen of WDWI Nation, this is Danica Myers. I just got word that Shane Malice is about to enter the building. We're gonna step outside and have a few quick words with him, see if we can get some answers some questions. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Can Hi. I just get a few quick no. questions with you? Come on, Shane, let me just get three questions. Three questions. Didn't he, didn't he say no? Three questions, that's it. I promise. Three what's, questions. What's the questions? All right, how are we feeling after coming back from our suspension? Great, so awesome. It's good time. You act like, am I supposed to be sad that I was suspended? Am I supposed to, oh, I'm excited to be here? No, I have a contract, I'm obligated to be here and I'm hoping to get out of that soon. You know what makes me mad is the fact I'm not even getting paid tonight. Do you guys know that? I'm not even getting paid to be here, but I have to be here. So I'm sorry if I'm in a little bit of a bad mood. And I feel like that mood is gonna be definitely taken out on your opponent tonight, Cousin Clay. No, no it's not. Because I'm not there, I'm saving all of this anger for mirrors. Cause I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. All right, and then with two matches left until Berkeley Mania, what can we expect from you? Money and gold and all the rest. What, what do you want from me? I'm, I'm goddamn Still City Sex Pistol. You love me, they love me. You get what you get when it comes to me. You you already love me, and I don't care if you do or not. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, whatever. Can I go now? Do you have more questions? No more questions. Yeah, I'm glad that's a wrap. Let's go.
funny. New face. Even though I was gone, Malice, people still talked about Clay. When's Clay coming back? When's Clay coming back to save the World Domination Wrestling Alliance? I'm back. Shane versus Clay. One of the most talked about matches in World Domination history. Let me let you in on a little insight, Malice. The only reason you ever even touched that heavyweight championship is because Clay was gone. I built this place. Malice, let me formally welcome you to Clay's domain. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of WGWA Nation. I am no, here to no, know. No, no, no. What did I tell you last time? I'm tired of you being taller than me. You make me look stupid. Get down. What? Get down on your knees. No. I'm look, I'm not asking, okay? I'm, I'm trying to be a gentleman here. You see, I have a message. We, we all have a message for your cousin Clay. Our little sister aunts and your, your brother uncles and whatever else they want to call themselves or... They're, they're animals. That's what they are. They're terrible people and they smell just like you. I've seen. I've seen your work. Let's put that out there. I know who you are and you're excited for this match. We're all really excited for, for Shane Malice, the Steel City Sex Pistol, the man who's been the WDWA champion five different occasions. You found that title once. So it's supposed to be this epic match of old versus new, right? Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna sell so many tickets. Everyone's gonna be we're so thrilled to see it. Guess what? I don't care. Because now all you are is an obstacle in my way. I'm already looking to Berkeley Mania against Kevin Mears. And now I have to go through the challenge that is you. Great. Obstacle again. But we're not, we're not unused to that, are we? No, no. What is, no, no, no. We're not going this way. We're going, no, we're used to it. Look, see, that's the problem. Is that I'm not a nice guy. You're going to learn that about me today. Tell me, sweetheart. I'm out of here. Bowers back in the ring. I gotta tell you, Travis, once I saw this match on the marquee, man, I got super excited. Both of these guys bring so much to the table. This is gonna be two behemoths going at it. Two guys who have done a lot here at the WDWA. Let me tell you a little bit about Shane Malice's WDWA history. He is two-time WDWA Wrestler of the Year. He is a one-time WDWA Tag Team Champion. He is a two-time WDWA Holy Grail Championship winner and a five-time, five-time, Travis, I repeat, five time WDWA World Heavyweight Champion. There is nobody more recognizable in this company than this guy. He has done it all. He really has. Shane Malice, the Steel City Sex Pistols. Cousin Clay also brings a lot to the table. He is also a former WDWA Heavyweight Champion back in 2017. Now he's a scary, scary man as well. I absolutely love watching this guy in the ring. So unpredictable. And after his match against Rayo, something just adjusted in his mind. I, I don't know if he's lost his mind, if he's found his mind. I have no idea. This guy is just unpredictable. We're going to have to just call it as we see it. That's right. And once he hits the mother's rash, his finishing maneuver, it's over. If he hits Jane Malice with the mother's rash, it will be over. I'll tell you, Shane Malice is no walk in the park. 15 years experience. He's wrestled over 50 promotions. He's held titles in like all of them. I mean, he's wrestled some of the biggest names in the industry, like Shane Douglas, the franchise. Gangrel. The, the Patriot. Jake the Machine Davis. Like, That's right. If you guys haven't seen Jake the Machine Davis, that is one tough SOB. 
Yes, he is. He just wrestled him in a fans bring the weapon match here at WDWA. But now, on to more pertinent business. Cousin Clay picking up a win on Shane Malice tonight. That would be huge. Shane Malice, do not turn your back on Cousin Clay. You know, I have a lot of history in the ring with Shane Malice. Him and I have been on both sides of the ring. We've been partners. We've been against each other. I, you know, despite how I feel about him personally, I hold him in high regards with his talent in this ring. Here we go. The fans are now chanting Clay. They want to see Clay win tonight. Dare I say, the fans are disgusted at the kind of things that Shane Malice has done in this company. You're absolutely right, Travis. Shane Malice has done everything to scheme his way into every situation. I mean, there's a reason why he's such a decorated athlete, and it's not because he's followed the rules every time. He's been having a lot of run-ins with Kevin Mears, who's one of our top guys here. He's done it all. He's undefeated, actually, since everybody's come back from this pandemic. Uh, Shane Malice. Look at that, Cousin Watch Clay out. playing the mind games. It looks like Cousin Clay, he, he kind of jumps into the mind of his opponent. I don't know if it was a good idea to suspend Shane Malice, giving him that extra time to, to work out his schemes and hitting the gym and working on his craft. You know, I, I just think that's just more time, gives him more to bring to the table. It's true, Shane Malice is a student of the game and he proves it every time he's in that ring. You can't be a five-time champion without it. Careful standing toe to toe with Cousin Clay. Cousin Clay is showing Shane Malice right now who's boss. Shane is collecting himself. He's going to need to keep up with Cousin Clay at this point. Look at that. Shane Malice one step ahead of Cousin Clay right there on the tie out. Huge forearms to the back. Oh! Unbelievable. Now that was a headbutt. Uh, wow, Travis, that called me complete surprise. That is a student of the game right there. He can hit you from anywhere. Cousin Clay proving it right now. Big chop. You know, we talk about all of Shane Malice, Malice's accomplishments. Let's talk about Cousin Clay for a second. Look at this guy. He can come from anywhere. He's unpredictable. Huge knife edge chop. Wow. Some Beautiful. of the best chops in the business. Absolutely love this guy. Oh, Malice. Oh! oh there you go. Fans are eating this up. They love seeing Shane Malice in pain. Yeah. Cousin Clay coming in here tonight at six foot tall, 280 pounds, a solid mass, taking it straight to the Steel City Sex Pistol, Mr. Shane Malice. It looks like he's trying to create some distance. Oh, wow. Pulling in on his uh, overalls there. Smart move by Shane Malice. Shane Malice. If you can use uh, your opponent's attire uh, to your advantage. Oh. He went for the big uppercut, but it, it, it missed. You know, just like in other sports, you know, if you wear a jersey, if you wear an outfit, it's all attached to you. It's all fair game. Using Cousin Wrestling Clay's hair. I'm absolutely loving this new hairstyle from Cousin Clay. Shane Malice, he knows that he knows what he brings to the table. He's asking one of the fans to get in the ring. Hey, man, if, you, if you're a big enough man, you'll get in the ring with Malice. Nobody's going to do that, though. I don't recommend it, Travis. I think he needs to focus on Big Cousin Clay right now and stop worrying about these fans. They are exchanging chops at this point. This is for bragging rights. Who do you got right now? You know, I'm sitting here, and I was trying to figure it out even before you asked the question, and to be honest, I'm completely neutral right here. I don't know who to root for. I would love to see Cousin Clay pick up a win tonight. I think that'd be great. I think that would be great as well. I, 
You know, I've never had an issue with Cousin Clay. I think he's tremendous in the ring. I've had my ups and downs with Shane Malice here, out here in West Virginia. And you know what? Bygones be bygones. You know, I wish him all the luck, but I, 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 you know what, man? I, I am leaning a little towards Cousin Clay just because it's been a while since I've been able to see him back in a WDWA ring. Uh, but at the same time, my, Malice brings all this excitement. So, to be honest, I, I don't really care who wins. I'm actually enjoying this. Cousin Clay, he needs to reestablish himself here in the World Domination Wrestling Alliance. And a win over Shane Malice, that would do exactly that. Shane is taking his good, sweet time to get back into the ring. Cousin Clay, I mean, he's being a gentleman about it. He's letting him get he back is. into the ring. Cousin Clay's, uh, he's changed up his normal uh, way he handles himself in the ring. Usually, you know, he's, he's ruthless and he's mean and he would never even wait for somebody to get into the ring. I, it's something after that match with Rayo that he had here at WDW, it's changed him. I don't know if it's given him a, a more positive outlook, but I don't know, it's a little different and I hope that doesn't mean that's the downfall of Cousin Clay. Well, with there not being a world champion right now for the WDWA, a, a win for either of these guys is definitely what they're looking for. And now, Cousin Clay offering a test of strength to the Steel City Sex Pistol. No, never mind. Chops. Beating him down. Look at Shane. I never thought I'd see a cousin Clay get, get I, uh, taken uh, down like that. I agree 100%. But obviously Shane Malice, he's been he's been hitting the gym. He's got those gigantic forms, those gigantic thighs right now. Everything he's laying in there, he's he's laying in double. It's true. Shane Malice, a, a, a specimen in that ring, um, unbelievable specimen. You know he can do deadly strikes. You know he's former kickboxing, boxing, Greco-Roman. He's technical grappling submission. He, he can do it all in there. He can, and that's what makes him so dangerous. Another big boot to the face. Cousin Clay needs to think of something and think of something quick. Yeah. Cousin Clay, he was trained by the late great Bruiser. Based out of Maryland, uh, a, a man I had high respect for that passed away with my absence during the absence of, of myself on the ring, and I, I just want to take this opportunity to uh, to reach out and uh, you know rest in peace, brother. I, I'll miss you, and the whole world, wrestling world, will miss you. We all do miss Bruiser, but let's just remember that his legacy lives on through guys like Cousin Clay. Exactly my point. That's exactly where I was heading with this, Travis. You see what he's learned from the Bruiser in the ring. Broken jaw. I'm calling it right now. His jaw has to be broken after that one. Oh! That was it. It's going to be hard to wrestle with both guys having a broken jaw right there, Travis. Dual super kicks, both connected. Unbelievable. If they don't have a broken jaw, they're at least missing a couple teeth. This match could go in any direction at this point. Uh, Billy Bowers uh, keeping keeping the count going here. We're gonna get a winner tonight. Shane Malice, the Seal City Sex Pistol. Thank you so much for tuning in to TV10 to watch this contest here. What a what an electric match. Now it's looking like we're gonna be exchanging some punches. Yes, we are. Who's gonna get the upper hand? It looks like Malice. Ladies and gentlemen, we are glad. Oh, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we are glad that you joined us here on Comcast Channel 10. If you can make it down here and see this live. Wait a on. minute. Randall Fairway? What's Randall Fairway doing down here? He's, he's in the main event tonight against Triple Fierce Kevin Mears. And who was that? Cisco? Was that Cisco? I couldn't see. Cisco just came in, whack Cousin Clay with the chair. That changes everything. Cousin Clay is trying to stay up. That's it. That's got to be it. Come on. Well, obviously, Shane Malice couldn't take him out by himself. He needed a little help. Let's see. 
That's it. No, that is it. That had to be it. He got distracted. They got the advantage. I am sick to my stomach. Jay Mallis hit him with this hell of a knee strike that he likes to call agony because it leaves his opponents in agony. He gave him with two, and that I'm telling you right now, I don't know if he could have taken Cousin Clay out without all the help that he needed tonight, Travis. I, I just don't know that. Looks like there's an alliance between Shane Mallis, Cisco, and Randall Fairway, and that is one heck of a team. A dangerous team. Yeah, those are the three guys I would not want to be on the opposite end of the ring of myself. Come on, the match is over, guys. You've done, you've made your point. Wow. Well, Shane Malice returning to the WDWA tonight with a big win on Cousin Clay. Knock, 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 World Domination Wrestling Alliance. In fact, matter of fact, screw that. We're kicking down the door. The regulators are back. And first on the list is the Radical Stars, and the only thing I find radical about them is their audacity to even step across the ring from us. We're back and we're on a tear. The Mastodon of Martial Law. The man with a million questions and about to get all of his answers. The Private Eye, David Hetfield. We are back and we're not taking prisoners. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of WDWA Nation. This is Danica Myers here. I am with the Radical Stars, LA Star and Willie Radical. How are you guys doing tonight? Great. Are we excited for our match tonight? You guys are going to be going up against the regulators, who I know for a fact are a very tough tag team. Oh, yeah, they are. They, they will as they are. Big, tough, strong. But you know what I mean? Listen, when we come here, it's always a challenge. Always. We want to prove to everybody that we are the best tag team in WDWA. That's right. Them hashtag cousins, right, Willie? Uh huh. Because we are the radical stars. Hashtag cousins. When you get Willie, you get radical. When you get LA, you get stardom. Put them both together. Radical stars. That's who we are. Hashtag cousins. Boom! Woo! That's right. Yes, we have tag team action and we are sending it to the ring. Travis, I already sent them to the ring. Oh, can I send them? No, you can't always send them to the ring. Let Gavin Jackson, me, myself, announce that we are going back to the ring. Can I do it next time? You could do it next time. Thank you, thank you. That's respect, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for tuning in to TV10. A very respectful show here, World Domination Wrestling Alliance, making our debut a couple weeks ago here on the network. Respectful. You haven't been respectful to me at all this whole show. I am super respectful. Every time I say something, you know, rarely do you ever agree with me. Yeah, well, we'll just have to call it how we see it. How about that? Yeah, but right now, let's call these guys right here. This is Pro Wrestling's finest, The Regulators. The Regulators, longtime season tag team, and they do not like the fans. They hate the fans, That I, I must say. Yeah, we got Detective David Hetfield and the Mastodon of Martial Law, Robert Wright. These guys together weighing 530 pounds. Unbelievable specimens here. These guys are big. This might be a tag team for the future here, guys. I've seen these guys work all over the place. Not too much here in WDWA, but they're here to make their part. It's true. And picking up a win on their opponents, the Radical Stars, that would do just that. And I gotta say, though the Regulators have a weight advantage here, the Radical Stars here have these fans behind them 100%. LA Star and Willie Radical. I mean, these guys, they're the real deal. I love seeing them. Four former WDWA Tag Team Champions right here, guys. They love to dance. They love to have a good time. We love having a good time here at the World Wrestling Domination Alliance. World Domination Wrestling Alliance. They are one of the biggest fan favorites here at WDWA. But like I've said in the past, selling t-shirts doesn't give you championships. These guys need to be on their game right here with the regulators. They bring an interesting dynamic, being real life cousins. Oh, come on, the regulators get the upper hand. You would think they would know by now. You can't feed your back to guys like this. What are they going for, picking them up? Oh, oh there you go. 
Double Nugget Knocker, big drop kicks. Robert Wright taking some punches. Oh, you got the, oh no! Whoa, over the there top he goes. Ropes. David Hetfield down on his knees. What are they going to do? The Radical Stars, boom! Double kick. Yeah, I watch tag teams all the time deliver moves and be able to talk talk to each other without talking to each other. But there's one thing about family, and there's blood. These guys are always know what each other's thinking. It's true. It's a, it's a very interesting dynamic. They could easily pick up the win tonight if they stay on the same page. Whoa, look at that. Now that's innovative, I've never seen that. LA Star with the Bulldog. Constantly feeding each other. These guys have what it takes. Davey Hetfield getting up that shoulder at the last second. The crowd is very behind the Radical Stars. When you look at the size of David Hetfield, man, that guy's been in the gym. He's looking great, Travis. He, since the last time I saw him, he's probably put on 30 pounds of muscle. Well, they're cheating. That's what they're doing at this point. They're cheating. And Willie Radical does not like to see this. Got L.A. Store in the corner. Now, what is Robert Wright going for here? I don't know, but he better get out of that corner. Boss man slam. That was it. Really radical in LA Star, they're gonna have to come together soon. I have seen Robert Wright put so many people away with that boss man slam. Yes, we have. Big headbutt, keeping him in their corner. That's a smart, smart tag decision. Gotta make, you gotta cut the ring in half and work on one guy at a time. That's exactly what they're doing, Travis. He's got him restrained. Oh, come on, that wasn't needed. LA Star with the big comeback. And here comes Willie Radical. He's coming in, house of fire, here it comes. Look at that, big forearm. Could not take the big man down. That's two, that's two. Kick to the gut. What a beautiful power slam. He pulled that out of nowhere with the two and. They call him the Mastodon of martial law for a reason. That's true. He's proving it right now to the great fans of Martinsburg, West Virginia. He, lay, he lays in those headbutts, and he could really crack your skull with those. You know, it's hard being uh, someone of the size of Willie Radical trying to overpower six foot two, 270 pound man. I, it's just not possible. He's, he's definitely gonna have to reach in deep for something. He, now, come on, he's David, chucking him in the corner. David Hetfield's no walk in the park at 5'11", 260 pounds of pure muscle. Pure muscle, and that much is true. You know, it's nice to come out here and dance and, and be cheered, but you just need a little bit more. Robert Wright sending him to the top. What is he gonna go for here? There you go, Willie, fire up. There you go. Big crossbody, oh. but he caught him. Look at the strength. Inziguri. And here comes LA Star, big hot tag. Here we go. The house is on fire. LA Star filling the adrenaline rush from the fans. Oh, Ooh, big he side ate that kick. one. Yes, he did. Willie Radical with a beautiful springboard DDT. They got to watch Robert Wright. Robert Wright over the top. <laughs> Willie Radical just a little bit too fast. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that no. one caught me by surprise. I did not see that coming. 
Why would he do that? This is their first tag match here at the World Domination Wrestling Alliance. Why did he do that? I don't think it matters, Travis. They came here to make a statement, and I think knocking out one of the biggest baby faces in WWE is exactly what they were going for. Once the tag titles return to the World Domination Wrestling Alliance, you got to wonder if the regulators want to be contenders for the belt. I mean, why would you do I, I don't understand. I don't know. The Radical Stars had... David Hetfield lined up for their stardom splash, and David Hetfield just outsmarted them. Well, all I know is I hope LA Star wasn't planning on having any more babies anytime soon. One heck of a match, one heck of a tag match right here on TV10 for World Domination Wrestling Alliance. We're going to go to a short break, and we will be right back with the action. I made it down to Mount Mama. Martinsburg, West Virginia. I'm Randall the Wicked, Randall Fairway. I have not seen Kevin Mears yet this evening. Hopefully you made it down as well, Mr. Mears, to see if you could back up all that smack you were talking on the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, tonight I have made the trek to Martinsburg, West Virginia on the road to Berkeley Mania. Tonight, I am going up against Randall the Wicked Fairway. You will face your fears! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for our main event here, Travis, right here in downtown Martinsburg at WDWA. Uh, and undefeated since uh, we've come back from COVID, uh, Kevin Mears takes on Shane Malice's best friend, that's Mr. Randy himself. Randall Fairway. Randall Fairway. Huge main event. Thank you so much for tuning in to TV10. And we're going to be heading us straight to the ring. Let's take it out. There you go. The returning Randall Fairway. You know, I hope Randall Fairway did it fight off more he can chew then he could chew with triple fierce Kevin Mears. Yeah I gotta tell you Randall Fairway people here in downtown West Virginia don't know how good this guy is. Every time he comes in here it's always to the chance of the booze but I think he's one of the most underrated guys on this scene. What do you think? Oh, oh I, I couldn't agree more. I could not agree more and he wants to be called Randall the Wicked for a reason. He's 190 pounds six feet tall from Salem Mass and he is he's here tonight to prove to Kevin Mears that he's a real contender. I agree with you 100% Travis. Now you want to talk about somebody that's 100% muscle. You want to talk about triple fierce Kevin Mears. That's right. A four-time West Virginia champion for the WDWA. That's right. Unfortunately, one of those times was against me. Oh, wow. Uh, really? I hate to admit it, but he was the better man that night. Kevin Mears proves it every time he's in the ring. Triple fears. He proves it every time that he is exactly every ounce of man he says he is. He is a force to be reckoned with. He wants you to fear the stampede. Very few men in this industry that work as hard as Kevin Mears. He goes by the Triple Fears moniker because the Triple Fears are kickboxing, powerlifting, wrestling. You know, three things that you need to be afraid of when you're standing in the ring with Triple Fears Kevin Mears. Look at Look. that. He's showing it. He's got Randall where Look he at wants that giant him. swing by Kevin Mears. Shades of the great Baba, the great giant Baba. Look at that strength. Amazing. Now that was brute strength. Devin Mears, he is soaking in this energy. He loves being here in the WDWA. Yeah, Randall Fairway's here to avenge his buddy Shane Malice, but you know, you gotta be careful when you're picking your friends, Randall. Look at him stalking his prey. Kevin is stalking. Nope. Nice, Randall. Nice knee to the midsection by Randall. 
Randall's gonna do what it takes to really make it happen. I think he took his tattoo off on that one, Travis. That was a knife edge shot from Heck. Triple fears Kevin Mears. He needs to pick it up right now. There he goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought he was gonna hit the stampede right there on the post. I thought so too. Randall Fairway is just a little bit too smart for him. He just slammed his shoulder into that. Now it's going to be a little bit of trouble picking him up for the stampede later on if he tries. Kevin Mears all, all brawn and no brains. He thinks he can take Randall Fairway out with like that. Randall is staying on Kevin Mears. If you want to beat Kevin Mears, you cannot let Kevin get even a second of breath. Kevin Mears doesn't think that the most decorated athlete here in world domination, Shane Malice hasn't taught Randall a thing or two. He's got another thing coming. That's right. That's so true. Do Rand not sleep on this guy. Randall, uh, you know, birds of a feather with Shane Malice. He's just as dirty. He's just as bad. Oh, he says that's it. What is he going to go for here? Look at the momentum he's getting behind this knee to the face. That rocked Kevin Mears. He is seeing stars right now. I hope you were hungry, Kevin Mears. Big old knee sandwich right to that gigantic beard. That beard offers no protection for a flying knee. Kevin is getting back up onto his feet. Here we go. What is this? Oh. There's Randall Fairway. One step ahead of Kevin Mears. It looks like Kevin's trying to take as much as he can, but Randall's working him down. I gotta say, Randall Fairway's looking really good tonight. Oh! And just like that, he's eating Randall Fairway. I don't know if you saw uh, Kevin Mears' message to Randall Fairway, but he said he's gonna be the Jeffrey Dahmer and just eat him up, and it's exactly what he just did. That cannot taste good. He's got him up for a stalling suplex. Here we go. Look at the strength. I have no idea how you can hold another man up like that. Got him for the pin. Wow. Thank you so much for tuning in to TV10. This is your main event of the evening. Triple Fierce Kevin Mears taking on Randall Fairway. It has been one heck of a contest so far. Randall getting back up onto his feet. I wouldn't even want to get back on my feet at this point if I was Randall. Randall is not ready to give up quite yet. Being one step back in front of Kevin Mears. Now what is he going to? Big back suplex. Oh! He landed it. Two count. You know, do not knock Randall Fairway. He threw him in the air that time. Fairway driving that elbow into the sternum. He is not letting him give up, Travis. Look at that. For another cover. Billy Bowers counted it as a two. Randall is trying to get amped up, but for what? What is he going to try to do here? There it is, thy wickedness. Mr. Randall Fairway. If, if, only, if only Triple Fears could get back on his feet and hit that. The, the stampede running power slam. Big here. He's calling for it. What a spare from Kevin Mears. He said, fear the stampede. He's going for it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's it. That's it. No, no, not again. Cisco's coming down. What's his deal? Come on. He doesn't deserve that. These guys are making a lot of enemies right now. Whoa, what is this? Look at this big guy. Davey What Hedfield. is going on down here? Nobody can stop Kevin Mears. What is David Davey Hetfield? What, uh, what is going on? First Cisco, no. There's no way he's getting this big man. Oh, no way. Unbelievable. Robert Wright now. Here's Robert Wright, the other member of the regulators. 
This would be amazing if he could hit another no, stampede. No way. He is Come on. Whoa! Oh, oh my Look God. at the strength from Triple Fierce. Ah, oh, oh, he has the snake himself. Shane Malice. Is he trying to get suspended again? This is how you do it. Come on, Kevin. No way. What a powerhouse. What a powerhouse. Randall Fairway putting the stop to it, though. Shane Malice. Look at that. One up in Kevin Mears. I just don't see why they have to do their business like that. There's two ways to do business, the right way and the wrong way. And this is the wrong way. Looks like Shane Malice has put together a gang of misfits here to take down Triple Fierce Kevin Mears. Putting on the jacket. Come on, Cisco. What are they going to do to him? I have no idea. We need to get somebody out here to help Kevin Mears. Why don't you do it, Gavin? Come on. He needs some help. Somebody needs to save him. Oh, my gosh. The running baseball slider. I don't know. We need management out here or something to stop this. I mean, we are ending this episode on such a sour note. We are. I, I mean, thank you for joining us. Uh, Cousin Whoa. Clay! Cousin Clay! Wait a minute, folks. Before we call it quits here at World Domination Wrestling Alliance, yes. Cousin Clay to the ring with a steel chair, chasing off this band of misfits that Shane Mouse has put together. We needed somebody, and Cousin Clay has stepped in. I'll tell you what, Kevin Mears, if you want somebody on your side, Cousin Clay is definitely one you'd like to have. He's a human wrecking ball, and he has came to the side of Kevin Mears. Unbelievable. What a night. Like we started to say, uh, thank you for joining us here at WDWA downtown with, uh, Martinsburg, West Virginia Custom Creations. Uh, I'm Gavin Jackson. Travis D4. Travis D4, my man, calling the shots one other time. Here we go. We'll see you guys on our fifth episode. Take care.